morning, this is Mr. Willie in West Virginia, and it is the 16th day of June, and I am broadcasting from Owens Studios. And I don't know if you got a chance to see the video from yesterday, but I got some new equipment for Father's Day. And uh, as I woke this morning, I got a word. And this is the way God works with me. Sometimes I just get a word, and it was uphold. A it's an old English word. Um, we don't really use it as they did in the olden days, but I'm going to share two scriptures and see what God has to say. All right, the first scripture is in uh, Psalms 119, verse 116. It says, Uphold me according unto thy word, that I may live and let me not be ashamed. And then in Isaiah 41, let's see if I can flip to it real quick for you. Isaiah 41, verse 10, says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. And this is God. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Now, again, it's not a word that we use a whole lot anymore. Um, as I looked at my concordance to translate a bold in the first scripture in Psalms it, its meaning is to lean upon or take hold of or bear up or establish or up hold um, to rest self or to sustain now in the second scripture in Isaiah where God's speaking it says it, the meaning for that word is totally different than the first one it says, to, of course, it has the same meaning, but it's a different word. To sustain, to obtain, to keep fast, to help, to follow close, to take up, to hold up, and to maintain or return or to stay up. For some of you right now, you're really struggling. And I know people that are struggling. And, uh, you know, at times we all have those struggles. I woke up this morning just really thinking and realizing how much God has upheld me, how much he has, has, has kept me resting, and um, some of you need that. So hopefully, I'm going to re repeat this scripture again in, one, in 119. It says, uphold me according to thy word. This is David speaking to God. He's saying, uphold me according to thy word, that I may live and not be ashamed of my hope. Um, and then again, in Isaiah, I'm going to read it again because I think it's, it's pretty important that you, you hear it twice. Um, Isaiah 41, this is the one I really, really love. And this, is, this was God's promise to, to Israel at the time. He says, Fear thou not, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yea, I will help thee, and yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. I will keep you up. I will keep you stayed up. I will keep you rested up. Okay? Hey, that's my word for this morning. God will uphold you. He's going to keep you up. Don't worry about falling. He's going to keep you up. Don't worry about stumbling. He's going to keep you up. He's going to uphold you with the right hand of his righteousness in the name of Jesus. Hey, this is Mr. Willing, West Virginia. I love you, but God loves you more because he can uphold you. All right? Hey, shalom.